Now let's talk about peer to peer network architecture. So if you think about home network or if you think about small business you are going to see a lot of peer to peer network design. So in the peer to peer network design there is no dedicated server on the network. So let's say for example if you look at the diagram here on the screen we have three PCs these are not dedicated server they are just a pc on the network which act as either client or as in server on the network and they can share their resources let us see the example that we have three pc that are connected into the network every pc act as a client or server and the owner of the pc has the full access on how to share the resource and when to stop sharing the resource now let us talk about advantages and disadvantages of peer to peer network architecture the advantages are it's easy to install and it's easy to configure it doesn't depend on the presence of a dedicated server and we individual user have the control of our own resource this architecture is inexpensive to purchase and operate as there is no need of dedicated administrator are needed to run the network there is no need of dedicated software to run on the servers and no skill person required to manage all those things if we compare it to the client server architecture it is very inexpensive now let us talk about disadvantages of peer to peer architecture network security applies only to a single resource at a time because everyone is the owner of its own resource and they can manage it by their own another issue is that user may be forced to use as many passwords as there are shared resource so suppose there are three computer in the network and each has the shared resource and if they set a different username and password to the pc then we have to remember a lot of password to access the resource each machine must be backed up individually to protect all shared data because in the client and server architecture we have a file server and also has a backup of the file server so suppose if our main file server got some issue then we can use backup file server in work so in the case of peer to peer architecture we don't have a backup and all the data are stored into the hard drive and if there is a some issue with the hard drive then we may lose the data there is no centralized organization scheme to locate or control the access of data so that is a peer to peer network architecture thanks for your time on this video and we will discuss more on the computer networks in the next part till then bye and please if you like this video like it and subscribe it for more videos thank you